in this video we will find the derivative of cos x to the power x so in order to different, differentiate this function we will apply natural log on both sides so we have ln of y is equal to ln of cos x to the power x now we know that ln of a to the power n is equal to n times ln of a so we will use this property over here so that this power x will become the coefficient of this ln x so we have ln of y is equal to x times ln of cos x now we will apply derivative of derivative on both sides so we have dy dy dx of ln y is equal to dy dx of x times ln of cos x now in order to differentiate this side we will use the product rule of differentiation which is derivative of u v is equal to u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of u and on this side of the equation we will use chain rule because we cannot differentiate ln y with respect to x so we will use d by dy of ln y times dy by dx so now we can differentiate ln y with respect to y and on this side we will apply product rule so we have x times derivative of ln of cos x plus ln of cos x times derivative of x now the derivative of ln y is 1 upon y multiply by dy, dy by dx is equal to x times the derivative of ln cos x which is 1 upon cos x times the derivative of cos x which is minus sin x then plus ln of cos x multiply by derivative of x which is 1 now we have 1 upon y dy by dx is equal to x times minus sin x upon cos x plus ln of cos x because 1 times ln of cos x is ln cos x now 1 upon y times derivative of y with respect to x is equal to x times we know that sin x upon cos x is tan x so we have minus tan x and then plus ln of cos x then 1 upon y times derivative of y with respect to x and then we will multiply x by minus tan x so we have minus x tan x plus ln of cos x then we have 1 upon y dy by dx is equal to sorry, ln of cos x minus x tan x now we can take this y on the other side of equation so we have dy by dx is equal to y times ln of cos x minus x tan x and then we will put the value of y which is cos x to the power x in place of y and then we have ln of cos x minus x tan x and this is the required derivative.